Isaac and Rocky, first hand and experience. Dude, we're filling go, up. Go, 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 go. No, we're swimming, buddy, in a second. No. No. Well, here's how to get started. First off, you're going to need some way to hold your airbag in place so you know where to put the holes. Drilling a hole at the front of the canoe and using a little S-beaner to mount it works pretty good. Next, you're going to want to mark the end of the airbag so you know where to start drilling the holes. Copy the location onto the other side of the canoe so you keep things symmetrical. After that, you're going to want to mark out the locations and divide the space up evenly. Six inches worked great for this situation. Five thirty seconds paracord is all I used, and it's probably going to be great for most applications. Next, you're going to want to weave the paracord back and forth through the holes you drilled, making sure to half-ass tighten it up. Once you got all the paracord through the holes, you're going to want to tie a knot in the end, and then divide the space evenly into thirds. At this point, you're going to tie a simple loop knot and that's going to give you something to pass the paracord through when you run it the opposite direction. Snug all the paracord down and mark the location of where you're going to want the knot at the other end of the rope. At this point, you're really going to have to reef it down and take all the slack out of the paracord so that you have room to tie the knot at the other end where you want it. I like to burn all the ends as I go so that the paracord doesn't fray over time. At this point, you're going to want to reinsert the airbag so that you can mark the location of the D-ring that you're going to glue in later. I'd recommend gluing in two D-rings at each end and dividing the boat into thirds, but I was doing this for a friend and this is all he provided me with. While you're at it, you might as well mark out the locations for the kneeling pads that you're going to glue in. I like to locate them so that my butt can rest on the seat, but not so far back that your legs are going to become trapped underneath the seat during a capsize. If you have any doubt that your feet might get trapped under the seat, consider raising the seats. Next, you're going to want to sand the areas thoroughly that you marked out, and this is just to ensure proper adhesion. After that, you're going to want to throw on some handy dandy gloves to protect yourself because you're going to clean the areas with mineral spirits. Be sure to clean every piece you plan on gluing in. Once the areas have thoroughly dried and all the mineral spirits have evaporated, you should be safe to start applying the glue. You're going to want to apply it to both surfaces that you plan on gluing together and let it dry for a little bit. You'll definitely want to be wearing a mask for this step because the fumes are nasty. Once the glue is set up, you can begin heating up the two surfaces to mate them to each other. Be very careful when doing this to a Royal X canoe as the heat can damage them. Since this was a poly boat, I didn't have to be very cautious. Press everything down thoroughly and you're on to the next step. Weaving the rope in the opposite direction. I like to wrap it around each perpendicular rope as I pass across it. And then through the loop and back in the other direction. Cut both ends, tie a knot, and reinsert your airbag. Check the fit. The final thing we're going to do to this canoe is to install grab loops at either end of the canoe, and this is to give you something to tie your painters to. You want to keep these large enough that you can grab onto them, but not so large that you can fit your whole hand through them and get your wrist caught. Going down a set of rapids with your wrist tied to the front of a canoe is not going to be a good time, and a lot of people have a tendency to try and grab these during a capsize. Hope that helps you guys out, gets you on the water and having fun. Like and subscribe for more canoe tripping tips and tricks. Get out there for some adventures of your own. They're waiting for you.